Hi, I wanted to talk to you guys today about school lunches. Obviously school is in for most kids right now. And you know, the phrase that people would always tell their kids are, well, just because so-and-so is doing it doesn't mean you should do it. If they were to jump off a cliff, would you jump off a cliff? Yet so many parents don't want to feed their kids differently because, oh, well, then they're not going to be like all the other kids. Well, that's okay, isn't it? You just told them to be different. So what I'm trying to say with this is feed your kids healthy choices. Just because the other kids are eating Doritos and eating Oreo cookies and eating all kinds of crap, and I call it crap because it's really just empty calories, high in sugar, high in calories, high in salt, stuff that's not nutritionally good, something that's not feeding their body, their mind, but you're giving it to them anyways. The top causes of disease killing people in America today are all diet related. This is a fact, this is not my opinion. So heart disease, obesity, diabetes. I am not saying that if any of your kids have any problems going on, that it's all contributed to that. But what I'm saying is give your child a chance, start feeding them good. And in order for them to eat that, you're gonna have to eat it. Start making changes in your house. Start having better choices on hand. If you're gonna have some kind of a dip, maybe instead of potato chips and corn chips, you can have cucumber slices, carrots. Maybe you can start somewhere, um, cut up apple slices, give them other foods. We can go into what fruits are better, what vegetables. I'm not even trying to get picky on that. I'm saying get these kids now to start eating good because in the long run, it's gonna be the best thing you ever taught them. And it's still good for you. So if you aren't eating this stuff, you're not gonna be able to expect them to eat it. And don't be surprised how many kids will eat it. And they will eat it sometimes because they want to. And I've had kids in high school come up to me and say, my mom won't buy this because she said no one in the house will eat it but me. She said, so they won't get it. And yet I will see these parents and I will see them. They are either obese and I'm not judging them on that, but I'm thinking they need better choices and they have a child who wants this stuff in the house. So start looking at it as what you're fueling your kids with and what you're fueling yourself with. You wouldn't put bad gas in a Maserati, in a Lamborghini. You would put premium gas. That's what your child is. That's what you are. You are worth whatever it is to take the extra steps to cut up those fruits and vegetables to go buy the stuff and go prepare it you are worth it so start acting like it and take the responsibility i know there's lots of reasons why you don't sometimes it might cost more sometimes you don't have the time i get it get your kids involved if you need to have them come with you to the grocery store and see what they're willing to eat cut up green peppers uh, cut up cucumbers, cut up things that they will try and eat. And you know what? Have them help cut it. If they're very young and you can't give them a knife, you could maybe give them a butter knife and cut the cucumber up. You can give them radishes that they could bite into whole. I'm just saying, don't make any more excuses. Make this the year that your house gets healthy. Because in the end, all you have is your health. Talk to somebody right now who's in the hospital fighting for their life and everything else that they have, they would give away to have their health back. That's all. That's my message. Longer than usual. Thanks for listening. You can find me at Eat, Dream, Inspire. Bye.